Hello friends, I hope that you've been well. Welcome to another studio vlog. I am going to be showing you some footage from December, January, and February. And while I say studio vlog, there's definitely a lot of footage where I'm out and about living my life outside of the studio. But yeah, I hope that you enjoy. Uh, there's a lot of Patreon content. I do a lot of drawing and painting and I want to say that while I love and appreciate my patrons very dearly because they are the reason why I'm able to sustain my livelihood, I will say that I don't want you to feel as though I'm pressuring you or that you feel obligated to join my Patreon page. I know that's not something that everyone can do and also it's just not something that everyone wants to do, but just know that that is just a lot of what I spend my time doing, which is why there's so much of it throughout my video. So just wanted to put that out there. And I want to say I have a very exciting announcement. Drum roll, please. I am moving. I am very excited. This was sort of something that I just had an epiphany with and I just sort of put everything into motion very quickly. So I'm also going to be doing a moving sale. So my shop is now open finally. Normally I like to have a lot of new products in my shop when I reopen, but since that I'm now moving, I didn't want to accumulate too many new things. So instead I'm actually providing a sale on my shop to, you know, help me push some product out and so that I don't have to move as much stock into my new apartment. So feel free to check that out in the link below if you happen to be interested. And so, yeah, I'm very excited to be moving into a new space. And I've been doing a lot of looking around online at new furniture, new home decor ideas. And so that brings me to our sponsor for this video. Thank you so much to Karma for helping me with organizing my shopping list for the move. Karma is a totally free Chrome extension that is easy to install in just a few clicks. You can go to any of your favorite stores and click on the Karma button to save an item. You can also customize when you get notifications via email or mobile push when an item you've saved goes on sale, has a relevant coupon, or comes back in stock. To stay organized, you can create multiple wish lists so that you can categorize the different products that you're interested in purchasing. Right now, my categories are furniture, home decor, and I made one specifically for my studio as well. Previously, I was saving items in a text document, and what I love about Karma is that I was just able to copy and paste these links that I had already saved to search for and add these products into my Karma lists. Also, while you're shopping online, Karma scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically. This is a special feature if you use Karma on your computer, so the Chrome extension is a must. Additionally, when you shop with select retail partners, Karma gives cash back to you and to a good cause. So if you are interested, I'll have a link in the description down below for you to get the free Karma Chrome extension so you can shop smart, save time and money automatically. So back in December, I did this painting in collaboration with Dessert, which is a Canadian art supply company. And they supplied me with a 16 by 20 canvas and my medium of choice. And I typically don't work on canvases very often. I per personally just don't really like the texture, but I will say that I did enjoy working on a larger scale since I don't normally do that anymore because it just takes up so much space. And since that my audience, I think, is generally looking for smaller scale pieces and it's just easier for me to store, I usually work either letter size or smaller, but there is something really satisfying about working on a painting that's a little bit bigger, not only just seeing it in a large scale, but also being able to get into all those little details in a much easier way. But yeah, I use acrylic gouache. I believe the brand I used was Liquitex. And then you can see me here adding in a little bit of details with the paint marker. 
And even though I said I don't really like working on canvas, I do actually have a few canvases that I need to paint that are oval and circle shapes, which are pretty fun. So I think watching this footage back is sort of inspiring me to finally get around to actually working on those and hopefully, you know, selling the originals in my shop and also get back into painting on wood panels as well. It's been a little while since I've done a painting like that. Something that you're going to see come up a few times in this vlog is all of the different jewelry that I've been purchasing lately. This one is from a Canadian independent brand and I just love how kind of celestial and ma magical it is. It's just totally right up my alley and I love how dainty and delicate these pieces are. Also, shout out to the lovely people who send me things in my P.O. box. Obviously, there is zero pressure or obligation to send me anything, but anytime I do receive even just a letter from you, it is so sweet and it really, really brightens my day. So thank you so much. Hello friends, happy new year. By the time that you were seeing this, I'm sure we're well into 2022 at this point, but for me right now, it is January 9th. So we are just beginning the new year and feeling that deja vu a little bit uh, with, uh, with me here in Toronto. We are kind of going back into not full lockdown, but you know, a lot of restrictions have been put back into place. So yeah, definitely feeling that 2022 vibe right now. So little update kind of in the spirit of starting a new year, trying to start, you know, fresh clean slate. I've been going through my studio space and cleaning things out. And one of the tasks that I put myself to was going through all of my markers and fine liners and just seeing what which ones still worked because I have accumulated many art materials over the years and markers and fine liners is something that um, you know unfortunately they do dry out over time so I went ahead and tested a bunch of them and I have a whole bunch of them that are basically dead. Do not be entirely alarmed a lot of the ones that are dead here have been with me for like five plus years. So it's not as though I'm waste, you know, like all this money just went straight down the drain. I did get a lot of good use out of most of these and they've been with me for a long time. So not surprising that a lot of them are now dead, but Desair, which is a local art supply company, they take on old or like dead art supplies and containers and stuff. And then they like recycle it. I forget exactly the details of their recycle art program thing, but I'm gonna keep hang on to these. And then the next time I'm over there, I'm gonna hand those to them. And I guess they reuse it in some way. I'm not really sure. I don't know how these recycling programs work, but in any case, it feels better than just throwing them out entirely, right? So. What else? Yesterday I started working on the Patreon exclusive video where I am recreating a Sailor Moon screen cap. There's that. And then, um, yeah, in lieu of going through my studio space, I found a old Halloween costume um, or parts of it anyway. One year I went as San from Princess Mononoke and I made this mask out of, um, Paper mache and um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I will ever be San again at any point, but I feel kind of bad throwing it out. I've been many a different character over the years for Halloween and I usually hang on to the things that I make for it for like a year and then never wear it again. So I just end up throwing it out. Maybe, maybe perhaps if I uh, end up doing more conventions again, maybe I'll dress up as son while I, when I go. But yeah, I think that's all I've got for today. I look forward to keeping up with vlogging, hopefully, and take y'all on my journey through uh, making more art, hopefully. And I hope that you were able to make the most out of your New Year's and your holidays. I know, again, we are kind of in a strange limbo these past couple of years, but I hope that you're doing okay. And uh, I'll chat to you later.
I have had this iPad case for the entire duration I've had this iPad. So it's been a number of years. And as you can see, it is very, very worn out, including some bite marks from my old roommate's cat. So yeah, I went ahead and just purchased the exact same one, but now it's all fresh and new. And I love the original sticker that I had on the old iPad case and I didn't want to part with it. So I very carefully peeled it off and stuck it to a sketchbook so that I could hang on to it. And then of course, as it goes, I had to decorate the new one. And so you can see me here going through my giant sticker collection that I very rarely actually use and finally using them up and decorating my new iPad case. It was very satisfying to actually use some because I have way more stickers than I know what to do with and yet I still continue to accumulate them because they're so fun but I think I have commitment issues. <laughs> Hello, hello. It is Monday, January 10th, and today I am mixing it up. I'm actually going to be heading over to Chris's place to have a kind of co-working work session. Um, we both work from home and have our own, you know, schedules and live alone. So I thought that it might be nice to mix it up and head over and make it feel like uh, we have co-workers and work together. That way, hopefully we can keep each other company, but also keep us accountable and stay on task and have a work session. I've always been very envious of artists who can paint and draw on the go like they'll grab their art supplies and take it with them while they travel or at a cafe beach whatever I've never been that person and I want to do that more often or at least try so hanging out at Chris's place for a work session definitely got me in that mindset a little bit and kind of hopefully will ease me into working outside of my own apartment a little bit more often. But in any case, you can see he me here working on a thumbnail for the painting that I'd intended to paint. Normally I do my color comps digitally on my iPad, but doing it traditionally while it takes a little bit longer and doesn't give me as much flexibility, I do think that it's incredibly helpful to use the actual medium that I intend to use because the colors obviously don't translate the same when it's digital to traditional. But yeah, the painting that I'm working on, it was for the Patreon reward for the month of January. And the theme that I picked was metamorphosis, which felt very fitting for the month, the beginning of the year. And yeah, I've just been really into using lots of gradients with my watercolor paintings and this was definitely a very indulgent way of exploring that and I really enjoyed using these extremely vibrant colors and not being you know tied down to any quote-unquote realistic colors and it's definitely something that I want to continue pushing more in my work. And yeah, this like co-working session with Chris ended up being extremely productive for me, which I was kind of surprised by. I normally work alone and you would think that you would be able to concentrate better when you're alone, but I get so easily distracted when I'm on my own. So this actually ended up being very productive and I was able to finish this entire painting in that one day. We pretty much just like intermittently chatted while listening to BTS and uh, yeah, it was great. Hello, it is January 24th. I just filmed the intro and outro to my YouTube video where I take you through a week. So I actually did a weekly vlog and now I am filming for my other vlog, which will span, I guess, the next few months. But yeah, I'm currently finishing up this weekly vlog YouTube video. If you haven't seen it, 
I'll link it up if you want to watch it. And then I think for this week, I'm going to try and get a head start on my February Patreon rewards. So I will need to do the sticker and the artwork. And this month I, or for February, I should say this coming month, I am going with another anti Valentine's Day theme, which I had similarly did last year. And I also want to give a little shout out to this necklace of mine that I got last month. You know, support your local artisans. We love that here. Um, but anyway, that's it for me. And I'll talk to you later. Hello, it is January 29th, it's Saturday, and I am very excited to be heading over to my friends in a bit. We are going to be celebrating Lunar New Year and we're gonna order in some dim sum, do some fun cocktails. Very excited for that. It's been a while since um, I've seen her. I also wanted to update y'all on a couple of exciting things that have come in to my PO box the past couple of weeks. So first things first, I got a belated holiday gift from Ohuhu. I have been working with Ohuhu for a couple of years now. They are fantastic. Not only do I love their markers, obviously, but they have just been really, really great to work with. And yeah, they sent me some permanent markers and the box that it came with is beautiful. It's like this suede box. And I love that it's something that can definitely be reused. I'll probably, you know, hang on to it for somebody's holiday gift next year. And then I also received um, the next Zen Pop stationery box. So this is going to be my second collaboration with them. And then this time around, I'm gonna do a kind of more finessed illustration, I guess, using um, some of the stuff that is included in the stationery box. By the time that this vlog comes out, I'm pretty sure that this particular video will be up. I'm particularly in love with the little tiger or lion tin. Um, I think the design is so freaking cute. And then I also really love the washi tape that is in here. I absolutely love like stamp motifs. So really excited about that. And then lastly, I wanted to show off, um, I received some liquid watercolors from Pebio. I do think that I will probably really enjoy it because I really love very vibrant colors. And whenever I'm painting with watercolors, I try to use them in a very saturated way. So I think that these will probably work quite well for my particular style and, you know, preference. So I'm really excited to try these out. But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a little update. And um, yeah, now I'm looking forward to stuffing my face with delicious dim sum and having some cocktails. <laughs> Last night, I finally finished my January favorites illustration spread that I've been talking about. So we've got my New Year's brunch that I had with Chris. She made pancakes, they brought over some strawberries, we had coffee and some mimosas. It was marvelous. And then um, I've been buying a lot of jewelry lately, particularly I got a bunch of stuff from Regal Rose. And so I drew a couple of the rings that I got. The webtoon Unholy Blood, it finished I think in December, but I only finally got around to finishing it off in January. And I absolutely adored the series. It was fantastic. And this is Haiyan, the main character. And then we've got Geralt of Rivia, as many of you probably saw in my studio vlog that I did in January. I kind of filmed a lot of the process of me working on him, but yes, I really enjoyed the second season of The Witcher. 
this, <laughs> this one is really silly and I kind of added it in last minute, but there was this kind of viral video that went around with Elmo from Sesame Street just losing his shit over um, a pet rock. You just Google it. It's so funny. He was just not having any of it. And I thought his sass was way too funny. And then lastly, this is kind of a weird illustration because uh, I was trying to encapsulate all the different elements in the Lil Nas album art for Montero, which is an album that I've been listening to a lot. And so I wanted to include it in some way, but uh yeah it's that this is probably my least favorite illustration of this spread but you know it is what it is hi friends it is February 3rd. Admittedly, I am a little bit grumpier than usual because I am extremely tired. For a good reason though, I had a grand old evening yesterday with my friend Elise. Finally got to exchange very late Christmas gifts. <laughs> and we had dinner, had wine, watched some anime. She got me a bunch of very practical and nice kitchen gear, but the star of the Christmas gift for sure. Bam, -da -da. <laughs> Is this beautiful, magical <laughs> BTS magazine? I died. I did not know this was a thing. If you grew up in North America like I did, you are probably getting some very nostalgic vibes from looking at this. Magazines like J14 or Tiger Beat. I was obsessed with those when I was a preteen. Obviously, at that time, those magazines were featuring Backstreet Boys and seeing Britney Spears and that whole late 90s era. But yeah, I have spent a lot of time this week looking into upping my live streaming game. As many of you probably know, I live stream on YouTube every so often, roughly like once a month or so. And right now my live streaming setup is very bare bones minimal. I just do everything from my phone. And I find that it's just so much more engaging when you can actually see the person's face when they're talking to you. So I really wanted to set up a second camera so that I could have a face cam as well as have the camera showing off my drawing and paintings process. So at first, when I was looking into the various different um, methods that people use to film their traditional work, as well as having a face cam, I thought that I was going to have to get a webcam. And I thought that I was going to have to get like this like cam link thing. It's like an adapter to hook up to like my usual filming camera to turn that into a, a streaming webcam as well. So thankfully, turns out that this camera that you are seeing me on right now, the Sony, it is capable of live streaming without the cam link adapter thing. And I was like, what? I just had to buy like a new, a longer cord so that it could be hooked up to my computer. And now I, it should be able to stream just as is. And then for my phone as a camera, turns out that I can just use like this browser, which means I can actually use my data like I originally did before. And then I can have it continuously charged without having to buy anything new. So whew, it was a long journey. And so, yeah, with that, that is something that I feel like is worth mentioning is being an independent creator. There is so much time spent in research and learning new things. <laughs> I sometimes go through my weeks or a, through the day and I'm like, what did I do? What, where did the time go? What did I spend my time doing? And then I realized, oh yeah, I just spent like hours sifting through YouTube videos, trying to figure out how to use OBS. <laughs> so that's another fun element of this type of career is when you don't have a team, when you have to do everything yourself, you end up spending a lot of time doing research. 
Sorry they were so long and rambly, but I think it's important to just show all the different sides to the kind of work that goes into having the type of creative career that I have. Um, I'll have links to the different videos that helped me figure out my live streaming situation so that maybe it will help you as well. Maybe save you a little bit of time. <laughs> I had worked on this fan art portrait of Unumaki from the series Jujutsu Kaisen over on a live stream, but I didn't quite finish him during the live. So I went ahead and finished him off to start my morning. And I loved how this turned out. I continue to go back and forth between how I want to approach my alcohol marker slash color pencil illustrations. Previously, I was doing a lot of really heavy line work with fine liners, but for this particular drawing, I decided to go with just colored pencils as opposed to using the fine liners. And I don't know, I liked how soft it looked and I really enjoyed using this bright neon orange color pencil throughout the piece as well and you'll see later on in the vlog that I ended up picking up more neon fluorescent color pencils it's just so fun to add those little pops of color also while we're here you know drawing a Jujutsu Kaisen character I wanted to mention that I have tickets to see the Jujutsu Kaisen movie in theaters which I'm so pumped about because the only time I have experienced an anime film in theaters is some Ghibli films which were not new releases they were just screening them in theaters after the fact uh, like many years later and so I'm pumped to be able to experience this movie for the first time in theaters I think it's going to be so epic and yeah I can't wait Hello friends, it is February 6th and I am just about to head out for the day, but I wanted to check in with you and show you a little bit of what I've been working on during the week. So I did my live stream, like I had mentioned before. Unfortunately, I didn't get around to figuring out all of the kinks of the face cam setup wasn't ready. So I just did it my usual way. But in any case, it was so much fun. It was the longest live stream I've ever done. It was like over four hours. My knees and my arm was really feeling it. Um, but if you haven't seen it yet, it's still up if you want to watch it. Um, I worked on trying out this new sketchbook by Pipa and uh, Archer and Olive, where I used the paint markers and made this cute galaxy girl. And then I asked Pipa what character uh, she wanted to request. And we landed on sweet baby boy Unumaki from Jujutsu Kaisen. I just finished him up and posted him on Instagram. And then I, yesterday I did the Patreon live stream where I tested out all of the Pebio Colorex uh, watercolor, liquid watercolor inks that I recently received. And oh my God, the colors are so vibrant. It's insane. I discovered after the fact, I read the label that they're dye based, which makes sense, or that's why they're so vibrant. Unfortunately, it does mean that they're not super light fast, but in any case, they are beautiful. I did some swatches here, insane. And then the gold and silver, the gold especially is so opaque. I was really, really impressed. But yeah, I'm gonna go and meet up with Chris. We are gonna go have some late lunch and then hang out. It'll be nice. It'll be, a, it's gonna be a very nice Sunday. That's, it's very sunny out, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, I will check in with you later.
about to eat this delicious mango and I realized it's almost the same color as my nail polish. How cute. <laughs> I love that. I recently picked up this neon orange Prismacolor pencil and I was in love immediately. So I had to go back and pick up the yellow and the pink neon ones as well. And I also decided to pick up another brand that I have never tried before. I picked up these Derwent uh, Pro Color color pencils. These Derwent ones definitely don't feel nearly as soft as Prismacolor ones. I have yet to ever encounter a color pencil that's quite as soft as the Prismacolor ones. But I do find it's good to have a mix of color pencils to accompany the Prismacolor ones because the Prismacolor ones, because they're so soft, they do break a lot easier. So it's good to have leads like this um, that are sturdier and so they can sharpen to a higher point. Here I am working on the February Patreon rewards and I'm showing off the thumbnails that I did for this piece. And originally I had it in this like cute mirror thing, but then I decided I wanted it to match the February awards from last year, which had this kind of retro border around the character. And so I took a photo of the sketch and then used it in Procreate to get a color comp basically, just so I could map out what I wanted to do. And yeah, it's fun to see it side by side with the previous reward. And then these were the stickers that I did for the February rewards. So I was about to start working on this painting here and I thought I would try using my Arteza gouache, which I haven't used in quite a while. And of course, the color that I really wanted to use is this burnt sienna. And I've tried so hard trying to open this up using some pliers. I ran the top part under some hot water and it just won't open. And then of course I've been so aggressive with it, trying to open it that I've somehow managed to puncture a hole at the bottom here. If I leave it like this, it's going to dry out because now there's a hole. So I feel bad about, you know, potentially wasting a whole bunch of paint. So I think what I kind of have to do now is extract all of the paint out of this thing and I'm gonna put it in this little empty pod to hopefully save the paint and the, the good thing I guess is even if this is not perfectly airtight which I'm sure it's not uh, this is regular gouache and so even if it does kind of start to dry out in this little pod I can still use it and reactivate it if this was acrylic gouache then I'd be totally screwed because um, that as soon as it's dry it's totally permanent so hopefully fingers crossed pray for me that I can extract the paint out of this thing and put it in here Here I had received the stickers for the February Patreon rewards and I really loved how they turned out. So normally on my Patreon page, the sticker reward is typically 
a portrait of some kind and it'll usually be like a little bit bigger like three inches and I decided I wanted to change it up and instead of having one large sticker I decided to go with three smaller stickers that were of objects that fit the theme as opposed to an actual person and this is something I think I want to do more often since I find that I really like having a mix of not only subject matter in my stickers that I collect but also sizes and so yeah here I am counting them all which by the way, any of my patron rewards, when there are extras, I list them up in my shop for you to purchase months later. So always keep an eye out if you are interested in something and you missed out on it. My cousin had informed me that BTS, aka BT21, released a collaboration with Chad Time for a special bubble tea drink so of course we had to go get it it was a like peach drink i believe it was very good and she was so kind enough to gift me this toronto bt21 tote bag it has all of the neighborhoods and landmarks in toronto with the bt21 characters it's so freaking cute i love it so much Got to celebrate Chris's birthday. I brought torch sushi and then she made homemade takoyaki, which was incredible. And Kim had made these Japanese curry buns and yeah, everything was so delicious. And I am just even looking at the footage right now. I'm like, man, we ate so good that day. <laughs> So yeah, Chris made this cake herself and it was like this Earl Grey infused milky cake something. I already forget, but it was so delicious and all of that fresh whipping cream was very satisfying. And yeah, after several rounds of sangria, playing around with Oscar, we set out to go to this arcade bar and we played a bunch of old school games. It was really fun and it's a nice feeling to just get back out and feel some type of normalcy again. And as we wind down towards the end of the video, I just wanted to mention again that my shop is now open. I have lots of goodies in there, even though none of them are technically brand new anymore. I have prints, I have originals, I've got zines, stickers, and I also have a lot of Patreon extras as well. So I have lots of little bundles of previous rewards that have the postcard and the sticker. So if there are ever been any months that you had missed out on and you want to get in on it, it's possible that it might be available. I'll be offering 15% off my entire shop to help me move some of my stock before my move. And for my patrons, you guys get a special discount code for 20% off. So be sure to check out that post if you are a patron of mine. Hello, you have reached the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and that I was able to keep you company and shout out to all of the special guests who made an appearance in my vlog and were cool with me, including them. And I, yeah, I am very excited to be moving. I will try my best to document the experience and I'll definitely do a tour when I'm all settled in. Very excited for that. And 
this will be one of the last times you see this particular space. So drink it in, drink it in. I don't know if I'll paint again. It's so cute though, maybe I will. Anyway, thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me on that platform. Seriously, it is a huge part of the reason why I'm able to make this move in the first place. And again, thank you for supporting me, whether it be just watching the video, interacting with my content on here or on Instagram, supporting me on my shop, whatever it is, I appreciate you, you're amazing. And thank you again to Karma for sponsoring today's video. I'll have the link in the description if you're interested in downloading it to make your shopping experience a little easier. And yeah, that's it from me. I hope you have an amazing day or evening wherever you're at, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!